Thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a very busy and very productive day in my life. Here's the agenda. On my to-do list is do a little gardening, head to Chinese class, go to my sustainability leadership class, have a meeting for my internship at the World Health Organization, record a skit for Chinese homework, and go to my entrepreneurship class. I do want to note that this is a particularly busy day and not all days are like this. Now let's get into the video. So I do have a very busy schedule ahead, but I'm going to start it off pretty chill. I've been starting to get into gardening, so I have some plants here that I'm going to take care of. So here's my green onion, I'm going to water it a little. I also have this kit that my mom gave me, which is a begonia growth kit. Maybe I should have done this outdoors. Not on my kitchen table. I'm not really sure if I'm doing it right. It looks like the kit just came with soil. It should have come with a bulb as well, but I don't see the bulb in here. Oh, I see the bulb, okay. I see the bulb. That is the bulb. So the instructions are, fill the planter with the prepared growth medium. Make a small hole approximately two inches deep. Place the bulb in the hole horizontally with the hollow side facing up. Tilt the bulb at a 60 degree diagonal angle so the water will not collect in the hollow. Cover with growth medium and pat down gently. To promote strong root growth, keep the growth medium moist to slightly dry, not wet. Okay, guys, I think I think I did it. I mean, it was pretty hard to mess this up, but keep the planter in a bright and warm location away from direct sunlight until the bulbs begin to sprout. I'm a plant mom now. All right, so now I'm going to my first class of the day, which is Chinese. Let's go. This unit, we're learning about Chinese traditions, Chuan Tong. We learned about the Lantern Festival, Yuan Xiao Jie, which marks the end of the traditional Chinese New Year celebrations. People hang paper lanterns called Hua Deng, and written on some of these are riddles, which are fun to solve. Chiu,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有,有
Okay, so where this dress is from, it's the one Taylor Swift wore in her folklore album photo shoot, and it's by Aritzia. It's called the Wilfred Dress, and I love it. If you knew that, excellent. You know, I might just pair it with a little cardigan. Okay, that's enough. Now it's time to get acting, and let's see how I do as an actor. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's just that the scene is funny because like Anna, <laughs> Okay. Okay, yay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> that was something. <laughs> okay. okay, we just wrapped on the skit, and guys, I cannot be an actor. I'm so bad at acting, and I laugh, and just, ah, I need to really get better at this. But it was a lot of fun, and our skit's funny, and I hope we get a good grade. Anna. <laughs> Uh, so next I have a class called Entrepreneurial Thought Leader Seminar. In this class, every week we have a new entrepreneur come and speak with us. This week we have the CEO and founder of Stitch Fix, Katrina Lake, come to speak with us. So I'm excited to see what she has to say. I loved Katrina's talk. She talked about her journey starting Stitch Fix and the real challenges of being a woman raising money and starting a company. Katrina is super inspiring. In 2017, she became the youngest female to take a company public. I loved how down to earth and real she was. And she really makes me want to go out there and be a CEO. Oh, also, if you're interested in taking this class with me, the interviews are actually online and anyone can watch them on YouTube. So feel free to take this class alongside me. So now it is nighttime and that pretty much marks the end of my day. And now I wanted to introduce the amazing sponsor of this video, something I use almost every single day, Notion. Notion is a productivity tool that helps you organize your work and personal life. I find Notion really helpful in organizing my creative work. For example, I have a page on my Notion where I list and organize all of my video ideas. I also have this fun page where I review movies and TV series. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that I'm an intern for the World Health Organization. Our team actually uses Notion to help us plan meetings, organize our work, and make sure that we're hitting the right deadlines. I love that Notion is super versatile and they have a lot of templates for things like note taking for classes, habit tracking, and goal setting. It's also completely free to use for students, so I highly, highly encourage you to go check it out. If you'd like to sign up, you can use the link in my description box. Thank you again to Notion for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So that is a productive day in my life. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. See you soon!